between the Bears and the 49ers. What they got was a slice of history. running back named Gale Sayers, number 40, scored six touchdowns in the most memorable one-man offensive spectacle in modern pro history. been many great runners in pro football, but no one ever scored more touchdowns in more different ways in one game than Gale Sayers. While Sayers' performance was the best ever for a single game, O.J. Simpson, number 32, was the best ever for a single season. In 1973, Simpson became the first runner in football history to rush for more than 2,000 yards in a single season. He was not a beautiful runner, but a power runner. Yet, in the end, his power was beautiful to watch. Never has one player given so much, so often, to so many. In 1973, the Juice carried the ball 332 times, averaging 24 tries a game and averaged 6 yards per try. O.J. Simpson's 2003-yard season was the best ever. But this historic achievement does not put him at the top of the runner's peril. Only one man occupies that place, Jim Brown. No man ever ran with a football for as much yardage, and no man ever scored as many touchdowns. Jim Brown's career total of 12,312 yards gained rushing is the unscaled Everest of all records. Simpson's record is a mere way station on the treacherous climb toward this highest peak. I always thought Superman was white and wore an S, said one opposing coach. But now I know he's black and wears number 32. Jim Brown was the locomotive and the speeding bullet. And all others were just tall buildings to be leaped at a single bound. led the NFL in rushing for eight of his nine years. He journeyed through defenses designed specifically to stop him. He was a marked man every Sunday, but he never missed a game. In 1965, Jim Brown had the discipline to retire at the peak of his career, a simple yet infinitely complicated personal act that few celebrated athletes have ever achieved. He retired to make movies in Hollywood, but he left his legend where it belongs, on the football field as the best ever.